so many people do not want to work. And this is the coming crisis in America. A new mindset started to run through America. People started to take stock. People started to look at their lives. People began to realize there was more to life than going to work Monday through Friday. I want to say thank you to all of the people who bought training and I want to say thank you to the people who are about to buy training and shout out to the nerd tribe. This is something that's very interesting that is happening in America. One of the things I like to do is order out. I like to dine in. I, I hardly ever cook, right? And so I have a really good gauge on this. The other day I went to a restaurant, middle of the day, Monday, and it was closed due to staffing issues. And we're going to see a lot more of this because I don't want to sound dismissive. I don't want to sound elitist, but it's going to come off that way. There are people who only have the skill sets to serve food. That's the only skill set says they have. They could develop more skill sets if they wanted to, but at the moment, that's all the skill sets they have. And these people, and I'm going to explain to you how this happened. These people were influenced by the pandemic. During the pandemic, everyone was home. They were not repoing. They were not foreclosing. Many, many things were suspended. And these people were able to, for, for lack of a better word, relax. And because they relaxed and they were able to stay at home, have enhanced unemployment, in some cases, enhanced unemployment and a direct stimulus check, a new mindset started to run through America. People started to take stock. People started to look at their lives. People begin to realize there was more to life than going to work Monday through Friday. And this is where the Instagram, the YouTube and the TikTok stars became more than just stars. They became idols. I was watching these YouTubers who really don't do anything of significance. All they do is hang out, eat and drive cars. That's all they do. And there's a huge, huge, huge audience for that. And I was reading through the comments of someone that's like, man, you so inspire me. I want to be just like you. So here's someone that wants to have a fast car and actually do nothing in life. This is where we are. And that restaurant was closed the other day, not because they were sick. They were just like, I don't want to work. Never have we experienced a situation where so many people do not want to work. And this is the coming crisis in America. Someone, uh, I did a video talking about 30 million men weren't working and they're not working traditional jobs. They're doing side hustles. They're in the crypto space. They're on YouTube. They're on Instagram. They're reselling. Maybe they're doing DoorDash. Um, maybe they're doing Uber Eats, Uber Lyft, but they're not working a 40 hour a week. They're not. Because how do I know this? I consume a lot of DoorDash content, Uber Eats, uh, Shipped, Walmart Spark, because there's a lot of people who are trying to get into these gig jobs because I was watching one guy and he did some medical courier stuff and he worked three hours and he made 200 bucks. And this is what people are looking for. If you can work three hours and make 200 bucks five days a week, that's a thousand bucks a week. That's $4,000 per month, which is close to $50,000 a year. So everyone is looking for lucrative side hustles where they can make more money in less time than they would working a regular job. And what's going to happen? Uh, there is a multitude of YouTube channels that bring this awareness of these jobs and these side hustles. And literally, it's just going to be a matter of time before all of these jobs and side hustles are saturated. And then they'll be on to the next thing and they'll be on to the next side hustle in there. But here, here's the thing. There are studies. The longer 
that you remain unemployed, meaning you do not have full time and consistent unemployment. Un this impacts your earnings for the next 10 years, meaning they're not going to make as much money if they had a complete eight hour per day job. They're not gonna make enough money. Cause what I see is, I see it all the time since I consume the content. Someone will be doing DoorDash for a minute, then they'll be doing Uber Eats for a minute, then they'll be doing Ship for a minute, then they'll be doing Walmart Spark for a minute, then they'll be doing, they, they, they literally jump around. And I understand why they jump around. Um, these apps are constantly messing with the algorithm. Uber and Lyft Lyft drivers in 2022 do not make as much money as Uber and Lyft drivers in 2015 because they keep messing with the algorithm. So I understand why they're jumping, but here's the thing. And this, this is something that is quite prescient. At some point, you're getting old. And if you do not take the time to build a durable and sustainable real skill, you're going to be 60, 65 years old living in your car. This is the coming crisis of America. And this is going to happen over the next 30 years because I, I literally see it. And, you know, there is a group of YouTubers. I'm going to call them the good time boys. All they do is just hang out, drive fast cars and eat and talk smack. That's the totality of their YouTube content. And there are many, many, many people who expire to be like these people but here's the thing remember the show friends was on for about 10 12 years i don't know how long it was on but friends was something that was heavily watched widely acclaimed and they reached a point where it doesn't work there's a girl on here srt brie who literally stopped posting content on her channel. See, these good time boy YouTube channels do not have a long-term lifespan. And someone broke out the average lifespan of a YouTuber was five to seven years. I would submit that with these good time boy type of content, the lifespan is much shorter because here's the thing that's gonna happen and we're gonna get into demographics. Look at yourself when you were 20 what did you do when you were 20 and then when you turned 30 did you do the same things at 30 that you did when you were 20 one of the things that's going to happen is to the content creator is going to age out of their audience and their audience is going to age out so that's why it is short term because i mean i understand the appeal of having a nice car i understand that totally but if that is your biggest aspiration in life Life is to have a nice car, to hang out, to eat, to hang with your boys and to talk smack. Your future is going to be dark. Your future is going to be really, really, really dark. It's not going to be good. And that's why that this, this crisis, because we have a bunch of people who are not educating themselves and the number of content creators who are creating what I called, you don't need experience, but you can make a lot of money doing XYZ content is an epidemic. I literally, I know someone whose son has spent four years at Georgia Tech, he graduates next year, learning how to be computer science. So he's gonna come out of school making 150, 200K a year. And I've literally seen so many, you know, I was an Uber driver last year and now I'm in the tech and I'm making 80K. <sighs> All of these folks who have transitioned from gig jobs to tech are going to hit a wall very quickly. You want to know why? Because they don't have the educational background to advance. You could take a certificate. Um, you could do all these hacks to get into tech, but essentially you're going to find yourself in the position where you're not going to be able to make as much money as you hope. You'll be making more money than minimum wage. You'll be making more money than the average person. But because of that lack of foundational education and that lack of experience, you're going to hit a wall very quickly. You may stall out at 80, 95,000. And then what you're going to see, because now you're in tech, you're going to see people making two, three, four five hundred thousand and they're all going to have degrees they're all going to have specialized degrees i do not believe that you're going to have someone who was an uber driver last year moving into 
a $500,000 per year role. I don't think that's going to happen. I just don't. And um, many of these folks are going to run into a degrading quality of life. Because remember what I said, I don't know what ageism is in the workforce because last time I had a job was 20, let's say 22, 23 years ago. So I exited the job market before ageism become a thing. But I have friends who are in their 50s who have years of experience, who have degrees, and they cannot find jobs. See, this is where, because once again, at some point, you're going to get older. At some point, you're going to get mature. And all of this time wasted, because like I said, you know, I'm a foodie. I like to go to nice restaurants. And I am seeing consistently that newer restaurants, because this is one of the things, restaurants that have been open. There's one place I like to go. It's been open 30 years. They've never had this problem. And one of the reasons is they pay their staff more than the average people do. So they have plenty of folks to work the shifts. But this notion of I don't want to work a regular job and I can understand that I don't want to work a regular job however I prepared myself to not work a regular job and I'm about to go back to my roots I'm gonna tell you guys something I'm getting ready to do and this has to do with YouTube uh, the real estate traffer he made a video that I kind of agree with and I don't kind of agree with I personally feel that if the real estate traffic made another channel called Ronnie Gilmer's Real Estate and he showed his face and he happens to be a black person, the same thing would have happened. That's, I don't feel that he catered to a black audience. I feel, because once again, I get pushed things that I am not even interested into because it's black. There's this, there's this guy called Rich and Unemployed. His channel was pushed to me. It was pushed to me. I didn't go looking for it. And, you know, no disrespect to the guy who runs Rich and Unemployed employed. It's not my type of content. So I personally know, personally know that YouTube pushes black content creators to a black audience. Now, why is that messed up? There's 41 million black people. There's 62 million Hispanic and there's 230 million white people. So if your content is being pushed toward a black audience, you're missing 300 million people. You're missing an audience of 300 million. So what I'm getting ready to do, I've already started and I'm getting ready to once again, fall back on my skill sets because how did I make money here on YouTube? I wrote a book and the ability to write is an extremely valuable skill set that I'm getting ready to fall back on. So I'm getting ready to fall back on that skill set. I have created a new YouTube channel where I don't show my face because here's the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm, if you if your name is, let's call, let's say your name is Biff Jones, but you're a black dude, the YouTube <clears throat> algorithm can scan your YouTube channel and see that you are black and it will start recommending your content to a black audience based upon the scans. I mean, this is deep. This is really, really deep. So I'm getting ready to fall back on my writing skills. I'm making this new YouTube channel where I refuse to show my face and it's, you know, I'm on that struggle bus. I'm on that struggle bus because it's been years since I started a YouTube channel from scratch and I have done that. And I literally at the moment, I started two weeks ago and I have a grand total of 12 subscribers. But here's the thing. None of these subscribers are, are black, not a one. So, you know, I'm going to be on the struggle bus for however long because I got a lot of stuff I'm getting ready to do. But I, I tell you this because I have developed a durable skill set that I can pull out of my arsenal and use it anytime I want to. Believe it or not, blogs and newsletters make a lot of money, a lot of money. So I'm getting ready to focus on that. And you may see a reduction in the content on these current channels because I'm going to put forth a lot of effort over there. But I, I just go ahead and I bring that up. If you develop solid skill sets, these skill sets can service you for the rest of 
of your life. But if you're just stuck in this gig work hell, because like, once again, you know, gig work, I think if you're young and you're gonna do it for a hot minute, that's cool. But if you're gonna be doing gig work, I got into an Uber where the guy had 9,000 rides. That meant he had been doing Uber for close to 10 years. And I asked him, he said, he's been doing Uber nine and a half years. He's stuck, he's trapped. And because people do not want to take it upon themselves to educate themselves, to prepare themselves, to put forth better skill sets, um, it's going to show up because once again, and to quote my neighbor when I was growing up, Miss Sally Mae Jones, if you live long enough, you're going to get old. And this is what a lot of these gig workers who are in their late 30s, they're about to hit that wall because here's the thing, when you get older, time, time moves much quicker. So to go from 39 to 49 is not that long. And these people who refuse to work a traditional job because they want to be free. I've literally seen this. It. Like, I don't want to work a nine to five. I want to be free. I want to have control of my time. I want to have control of my schedule. Once again, there's nothing wrong with that. However, have you prepared yourself for that life? Have you prepared yourself for that situation? Because I'm going to talk about this again, because this crisis is going to hit America hard because what it's going to do is really push the advent of of automation because literally you just got a bunch of people who don't want to work they just simply do not want to work and this is going to be a decade-long crisis in these united states of america pretty much pretty much